Since the beginning of time, us women have suffered through all sorts of physical torture just to be deemed beautiful. In fact, in the 1500s, women wore armor plates so that they could look like a bell. Yeah, being a bell is totally in style. I mean, flatten your boobs, flatten the waist, and totally pad up those hips to get that nice hot bell effect. Then in Victorian times, if you had the tiny, tiny waist, you were definitely more worthy than a woman who didn't have a tiny, tiny waist. In fact, if you couldn't breathe, even better. <gasps> Then in the 1920s, you had to look like a little boy. Go ahead and tape up those boobs. No chest. That was totally in style. In the 60s, you had to be super, super thin, like model Twiggy. In fact, that's when Barbie was born. And then you had to have huge boobs, a tiny waist, no hips. That's totally attainable, right? Then in the 70s and in the 80s, fitness was introduced and everyone had to be toned and thin, but curvy in just the right places. Oh my god, so much information. I don't know what to do. I can't be beautiful. Stop. Don't worry, I have the perfect workout for you. Hey guys, Cassie here and welcome to Pop Pilates. Today's corset workout, and yes, this is actually a workout corset, not just a sexy time one, it's from Nike, is going to target all the muscles around your waist, really giving you that slim and hourglass shaping effect. So that if you're actually going to tie a ribbon around your waist, all of the muscles touching that ribbon, so your abs, your low back, your obliques, will be targeted in today's workout. So go ahead and grab your corset, because I know you have one lying around somewhere, and let's go ahead and hit the mat. Come on. All right, your first move is a combination plank. We're gonna be targeting your core and your obliques and the low back. So go ahead and place your back hand in front and your front hand a little bit behind it. You're in plank, make sure your tailbone is tucked nice and tight, your belly button sucked in. Now, you're gonna butt pike all the way up. You're gonna come down into that plank and then you're gonna dip the hip and up again. You reach, plank, dip, and up. So what do you feel here? You're feeling your low back, the obliques right here, and your abs, your core. Up, down, all the way down, and lift. So good. Now, if you feel like your wrists are kind of hurting, feel free to try these moves on your elbows. Perfect. You're looking great. Now, I love this because it's very graceful, very smooth. Nice. Now what I want you to focus on is to truly resist as you come on the way down, right there. Then you dip and you lift. Make sure your back isn't dipping like crazy, okay? Keep everything nice and firm. Hips square to the mat. Perfect. So good. Let's go. Four. All the way down. Feel those obliques. Feel those muffin tops dying. So good. Down. Hand up. I'm feeling my arms too. Oh, keep going to more. Press. Are you happy doing this workout? I hope you are because I'm really happy. You know, you notice that I smell all the time because I love it. Okay, and resist. Slow. And hold it right there. Bring those knees down, hands behind you, and whoopsie-doo. Switch over onto the other side. Here we go, same hand positioning. You're up in that plank, hold it. Now, all we do is repeat on the other side, starting with butt pike. Up and down. Twist and regular. Press and low. Again, truly resisting as you come. Back to center, right here. Now, you'll notice that if your breath it's a little bit hard if your heart rate is going up. That's because this is a sort of cardio move. We're using all of our muscles, okay, to work the core, the center of your body, the place where all your strength emanates from. Good, you've got it. Dip and lift. Squeeze it tight, resist. Perfect. I am loving this really good move. So good. Give me three. Resist. Dip. Very nice. Oh, and you know what? This corset workout is perfect. Paired with any other of my workout videos, they're short and sweet. You can make your full hour workout out of whatever you want to target. All right, one more. Lift. Resist. Will you just hold it for me? Come on. Belly button in. Come on. Abs tucked. 
tailbone tight. Five, four, three, two, onto the knees and up. Into one of my favorite moves, the candlestick dipper. But this time, we're gonna add a little pizzazz. I'm gonna take off some gloves and put on some gloves. So, yeah, I mean, might as well if you're wearing a corset, right? Okay, so what I want you to do is to go ahead, take off the glove right here, and I want you to come down, okay? And then press it all the way back up. All right, up, here we go. In and reach, reach, perfect. Again, down, reach, reach, perfect. Again, so you don't have to be crazy with the glove move. Just take it on, put it off. Whew. I think I just said that backwards. Put it on, take it off is what I meant. Good, again, down, reach, reach. Oh, so good. Sexy, slip it on, press. You should really be feeling that oblique right here. Also working your arms. Slip that on, press, press, and hold, and keep pressing. Am I crazy? Yes, I am. Come on, push on that door. Push, make it open, or push your enemy over. Three, two, one, and up. You're down. <laughs> do you feel your arms? Okay, so other side, guys and reaching that leg long. Now, if your knees hurt, feel free to place a pillow or something or double up that mat underneath. Okay, here we go. All the way up, sexy slip, down, reach, reach, you're up again. Slip it on, reach, reach, again. So good, all the way. Press with the heel of your palm. Nice work, I'm loving this. My obliques are gonna be so dead tomorrow. <sighs> One of my favorite moves, I just wanted to add some arm work to it to make it a little bit more difficult. Press and press. Whew. Now this music selection is by my friend Marisol, who's actually one of our popsters, sent me some songs and I loved it and I thought it was sweet and sassy enough for the corset workout. Good. How about one more, and we stay. We press, keep pushing, stay lower. Oh yes, good, give me three, two, one, hold and extend, hold it, and up, and down. Oh, that was good. Okay, now we're gonna go back down on the floor for some hip twists and cobra toe touches. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah, you'll be okay. On to your forearms. Hip touches, twist, and twist. Perfect, so we've done these before, but I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of a cool element here. Nice, really twist for me. You wanna work those obliques, you wanna create that nice, tight waist. Really slim everything in, cinch it in, as if you were wearing a corset. But thank goodness that we don't. Give me three, two, one, Hold it right here. Guys, we're gonna add a cobra. Toe touch. And there it is, keeping the knees together. Nice work. Twist and twist. Very good. Keep going. Whoo! Are you feeling those arms? Are you feeling the abs? Press. Nice work. Give me four more. Four, and three, you're almost there. Two, last one. One, hold it, bring it onto your palms, and into that down dog, pressing your heels into the mat, onto your knees, and slowly lift up with control.
Great work, guys. I hope you enjoyed the corset workout. If you want to see any more of these moves, go ahead and test out these two videos right here. Perfect combination. And if you have any questions, go ahead and tweet me on Twitter. I'm always on there. And on Facebook. I'm actually always, always, always on there. I'm super addicted to the Facebook fan page. And read my blog at blogilates.com if you want to see how to live a healthy lifestyle and tips and tricks on how to stay fit. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. And let me know in the comments below whether or not you like this workout. And why did I even ask? Of course you like this workout. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.